all our numericals, if you know direction of current, then you'll be in a better position. Now, why we are giving so much of importance, you can see it. Now, once let's learn how to use that one. So let me take the same example. So there's a track. Let this be a register R. I'll give velocity to the road. And B bar is into the plane. This is the first example. We have to predict how the direction of induced current. Okay, now let's come in an order. What is the flux? Into the plane it should be negative because the rod is given velocity. Rod is given velocity towards right. Uh, then what happens to flux? Negative flux increases, no? So d5 by dt. Negative. d5 by ne negative means EMF induced because what is e, e equal to? Minus d5 by dt. So therefore E must be positive or negative. I'm getting this to be positive. Then current is also positive. So then how the induced current should flow? Should flow anti-clockwise. Okay, let's, let's check our lens law. So what is the cause? What is the cause here? Cause is current. Now cause is what? Velocity of the rod. Velocity V of rod towards right. Where is the opposition? BL force. BL force. acting on rod towards left. Now, so, so why we should follow all this so strictly? Let's assume that I give some velocity to the rod and let's keep a bulb here. Then I give some 10 joules, let this rod have a mass m. So what is the initial kinetic energy are given? mv squared by two. And what should happen to rod after some time? Because of BL force acts, no, it will come to rest. So after some time, so let's take the same diagram. After some time. So what do you expect the rod PQ or, or this rod? It will be somewhere and it will come to rest. Uh, why it should come to rest? Why not it move with a more velocity? Why not it move with more velocity? Any reason? Uh, now I, I gave initial kinetic energy. How much mv square by 2? Then, so because of BL force, what will happen to rod? Rod will continuously undergo retardation the kinetic energy of the rod decrease. The decrease in kinetic energy of the rod, where it has gone, converted into the heat energy across the rest channel. Or you connect a bulb, the bulb will convert that kinetic energy of the rod into the heat energy or electrical energy. Electrical energy is converted into further by the bulb into heat energy. And finally it has come to, once the rod comes to the the bulb stops growing. Uh, sir, where is the lens law? Why you were brought that? Because somewhere you were discussing lens law. Let's assume that direction of current I towards right. Any 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 difference will it makes to the problem? A, a student or a teacher doesn't bother anything. Just he says like, no no law nothing. Whatever we think that is a law. Let, let's see that how that teacher what will be. He will say that rod is given velocity v. The rod is in here, given velocity u then we then what the teacher he will assume the current i any direction let him assume like this any problem will come here now how bl force will act like this so what are the initial kinetic energy given half m u square and because of bl force v greater than u so what was the initial energy of the system initial ei i'll write it m u square by two final energy is what mu square by 2, this is the final, this is the initial, 
mv square by 2 and also plus eat generated across the rest of r i square r dt so what happened the energy ef greater than eno so uh, so what we have made anything happen or oh, the teacher is very good i think the teacher what happened you have to put him in dustbin no? <laughs> If law of, if energy is volatile, then what is where is the physics? Energy is conserved. No total energy should remain constant. What was the initial energy supplied to the system? Kinetic energy of the rod. How much m u square by two? This energy supplied. This is final energy available. No, no, you see this. From where this extra energy came? What is extra energy? M V square by I square R. Did from it came? We don't know. We don't know all this one. So we just um, we are very good in laws of motion kinematics, yes, and we also very good in current density. And from all that, what happened? I just say that the rod is having more kinetic energy, and also there is heat generated. But basic law got violated. You know where the law? The total energy of system is greater than initial. From where this additional energy came? Anybody answers no. So what went wrong? Law of conservation of energy got violated. Why it got violated? Why it got violated? Because you just made a mistake. What? Assuming direction of current clockwise. Basically, how it flows? It flows anti-clockwise. But what you made? You made it clockwise. So the entire thing gone wrong. So here, what actually? Let's come for this one. What all kinetic energy is supplied? M u square by two. Should be. I square R dt. This is what. This is the final. This is the initial. What all kinetic energy supplied got converted into E t across the rest of R. So here I think energy is not volated, no. But here what happened? The energy got volated. So why it got volated? Energies. Law of conservation of energy is volatile. Law of conservation of energy is volatile. So tell me what is the problem now? The problem is with the just by simple negligence, no? As I mean, the action of current in whatever way you wish, no. So if you do like that. You are violating the basic law itself. So you have to be very careful. So therefore, what is the Lenz law? Shall I say it's another form of law of conservation of energy, not mechanical energy, just energy. So here, energy is not violated in the first case. What all the kinetic energy given to the rod got converted into the thermal energy across the resistor arm. So strictly, what happens? The induced current direction we have to follow strictly. If we just make a mistake of clockwise, don't follow any conventions here, you will end up in the wrong way. You may feel you are doing very good mathematics, but the basic law will get violated. This can never happen. E F should be equal to E I. How much of energy in the? How much of energy is present here? E I. How much of final energy? E F. And what is E F equal to? Integral of I square R. dt uh, now tell me like what is that bil force what is the nature of it what, what what is the role of bil force here it converts kinetic energy of the rod into what electrical energy of the resistor r clear this and the resistor further what it converts it converts electrical energy into thermal energy very important what is the role of bil The BIL is what happens like an agent which will convert kinetic energy of the rod into electrical energy. The resistor will further convert electrical energy into thermal energy. Books they didn't discuss. Why they didn't discuss? That's a basic thing. You know to stress specifically. So they may stress you all these things. So this is like an agent now. The ampere force is now like an agent. So ampere force does work, no? Does work. And ampere force what happens? We said it's a conservative force. Now work done by conservative. When conservative force does negative work, potential energy should increase. Tell me where it has gone. It get converted into the electrical energy. 
and is available across SRR. And the SRR further will convert that alkyl engine to thermal engine. It is for it's an agent. Uh, do remember the role of BIL is very important here. Okay, so shall we conclude? You know, uh, let's take few more cases. If I give for the rod, I'll give velocity towards left. Uh, let me give initial velocity u. This is a rod PQ. B bar is into the plane. Now, after some time, what do we expect the rod? The rod will be somewhere here. Let it have a mass m. And it will be moving with a velocity v. What about the situation? This initial. This is some intermediate or we'll say final. How to get the direction of induced current? Let's again take help of the Lenz law. So what is the flux? Negative. Negative flux decreases. D5 by dt, positive. Because as the rod moves towards left, the flux, negative flux decreases, d by dt, positive. The EMF induced negative. Because e equal to minus d5 by dt. Then how the induced current should flow, should flow clockwise. I'll, I'll show it here. Then how the BL force will act. Shall I say this velocity is a cause and effect is what? BL force. And what is BL force will retard the motion of the rod. Uh, tell me now, let's have a conservation of mechanics. Initial kinetic energy given mu square by 2 equal to mv square by 2. You know BL force will retard the motion of the rod and velocity of the rod is less than u. So where do remaining energy gone converted into heat across the resistor R? This is a t equal to zero with a time. So if you change direction of current, any problem will arise. Then you are going to show that V greater than U. Then again, energy will get violated. No? Just mere negligence of direction of induced current. What will happen? The total problem will go wrong. So the and Fadel's law, what has become very important now? The lens line has become very important and we should be very clear, crystal clear in getting the direction of induced current. These are the conventions. So if you get negative EMF induced, induced current negative. So in a loop, it should flow clockwise according to convention. Now, uh, what is the velocity? V is the cause and BL is what effect? Should account to lens law, the BL should act in such a way, should oppose the cause. Energy got, uh, like a, it's, it's a not got violated. No? Because V is less than U. So where the decrease in kinetic energy of the rod convert into E across the resistor R. Instead of taking to be a test, I just took a situation of like this. If you make current I anti-clockwise, then the BL force will act in the direction of velocity. Then V will become greater than U. Then energy gets violated. So there's a second situation. Now let's take the B bar out of the plane. I'm giving this example because almost 90% of numericals are based on this diagram for what I'm giving you today. You can check it. What all we discussed numericals are based on these diagrams only 90% of numerical. I'm saying. So there's a rod. I'll project with a velocity V. Here B bar out of the plane. Similarly here also. Now, what should happen to this? I'm projecting with a velocity u at t equal to zero. And then account to convention, flux is positive, no? B bar out of the plane, flux is positive. And at the rod moves towards right, 
D5 by positive flux increases, D5 by DT positive, EMF induced negative, because what is the definition equal to minus D5 by DT, D5 by DT with sign. So induced current negative, so how, how it should flow? The current should flow clockwise. Okay, clear this, how BL force will act? B bar, so BL force. Uh, don't assume BL and guess the current. It's the wrong way. You must use the conventions. So uh, now, what is the BL force? It will retard the motion of the rod. So the decrease in kinetic energy of the rod will get converted into increase in the rest, e thermal energy across the rest of the rod. Uh, similarly, apply the convention here. Flux will be positive. Positive flux decreases d5 by dt negative. EMF induced positive. How the induced current should flow? Anti clockwise. Then how the BL force will be like this. So what happened to rod? Rod will undergo retardation. After some time, you can bring the rod somewhere here. You can see that well after the rod is less than decrease in kinetic energy. Similar what we did earlier. Okay, after some time, where the rod will be. Let me draw it. The rod will be here. It will be moving with a velocity V. This is U. Uh, again, again, what we can get the same basic equations. This is at time t, this is at t equal to zero. This is at time t. Any equations, m u square by two should be equal to m v square by two i square r dt. Any one situation you understand, I think you can manage. Any one one case. Again, the kind and V is less than U. So the decrease in kinetic energy of rod got converted into thermal energy across the resistor. That was the law of conservation of energy. So if you wall it, nothing but length. So therefore, what is the Lenz law I can say? So shall I say Lenz law? Another form of law of conservation of energy, not mechanical energy, just energy. Huh? Because the heat generated across the SRR, it is not a mechanical energy. Am I right? We should call it a thermal energy. I'll bring next capacitor. Of course, electrostatic energy will call it. So like that, don't say conservation of mechanical energy. It will be in a wrong position. Again. Total say total law of conservation of energy, no? not conserve mechanical energy. So what is the Lenz law? It's another form of law of conservation of energy, that one, energy principle. That's why it is given more important than Faraday's law. So if you don't, <coughs> if Lenz law is, goes wrong, nothing but what happened, you are violating the conservation of energy principle. The Lenz law will predict the direction of current. Faraday's law will predict the magnitude of current. Okay. With the help of Faraday's law, you are going to say how much current. With the help of Lenz law, you are going to say the direction of current.
Okay, this is about uh, now only we discuss this. So let, let me.